when you put your work online, you run the risk of other people reselling your product as their own or stealing your images. Today, I'm gonna to show you some ways that you can prevent this from happening. The first thing you wanna to do to protect your PDF files is to be sure to flatten them. When you flatten your PDF image, it makes it so that people can't take certain elements from it and use them or change your PDF. This is also really important if you're using clip art that you purchased from somewhere else because you have the rights to use it under the license, but if somebody buys your printable, they do not have the rights to those images to use for their use. So if somebody takes an image from your printable and uses it, you could get in trouble for selling them the clip art. So now I'm gonna take you into Canva and I'm gonna show you how you can flatten your PDF in Canva to protect it from this happening. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, this is how we're gonna flatten the PDF. So I'm gonna uh, go up to share and then download. And then I'm gonna choose PDF print. And then right here, you'll see it says flatten PDF. And then I'm just gonna download that. Then that way um, people can't go in and move all of these things around if I don't want them to. And they can't remove any of the specific images and use them in something else. The other thing you wanna do to protect your digital products is to put in your listing that they are not to be resold. No part of them can be resold and they're for personal use or whatever the usage is going to be for your particular product. Be sure that you clarify. You can also be sure to clarify if you include instructions or anything like that in your printable package. You can state that in there as well just to make sure that they see it because sometimes people don't read the description. You can also put it in your images on Etsy or in your Shopify store or wherever you're selling. To protect your images, you should add a watermark. If you have a logo, you can use that and watermark. If you don't have a logo, you can just type out your name in text or your shop name in text and then you can make a watermark that way. I'm going to show you how to do that in Canva right now. So I have um, one of my files open here. This is actually a template I sell in a little package. If you don't have a logo, you can just type some text in. So just open a text box here on Canva and you can use any font you want. I'm just going to use the default here. Um, so, okay, so here I have this. So you can make it as fancy as you want or whatever. And if you have a logo, you can do the same Thing. I'll actually show you how to do it with an image in just a minute. So make it however big you want. And then go up here to this little icon. It's to make it more transparent because you don't want to leave it like that. It's too dark. So we can turn this down. I usually put mine to about 10 so that it shows, but it's not like overtaking the whole thing. And then you can just duplicate this and put it as many times as you want across your image. Um, or you can just do one really big one if you want. So that's how you make a watermark with text. And then I'll show you how to do it with an image. This is part of my logo from my website. So I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to turn the saturation all the way down and this is going to make it a black and white image. Then I'm going to go up here to the transparency and turn that down to like 10 or whatever seems good for the image I'm trying to use it on. And then I'll just make this one really big for this one. So see, it's very faint, so it doesn't take away from the 
actual product, but it's there. So if anyone tries to steal my image, it's going to be more difficult for them to try to remove that. Another thing that you can do is use the site called Tin Eye. You can look up on their site, search for a particular image uh, or one of your products and see if anyone is using your images in their listings or anywhere. This will search anywhere online. So this is a really good thing to help protect your images um, because then you can file a claim against them if they are using your images illegally. So those are the easy ways that you can protect your digital product and images online. If you got value from this video, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you join the family and I'm going to be bringing more passive income and printables videos to help you with your business. So I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.